Good evening, Miss Lily. Good evening. Hi, Patricia. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? How how was how was, how was, how was today? How was your day? Oh, yeah, yes, you're fine. How, how was, was your day? day? So it was great. Fine, thank you. Nice. Great to see you. Me too, thanks. So how was your day? Yes. Fine. What's this fine? Working. Did you work? Oh, okay. You had work. What do you do, Patricia? Yeah. ¿A qué se dedica? Um, yo trabajo en la costura. Oh, that's eh, nice. Hago, hago todo tipo de ropa. Sí. Okay, that's great. It's very interesting. Yes. Yes. <laughs> And you work in the day, work in the day in, in the day. Yes, I work in the day. Well, I actually work in a school with kids. Mm -hmm. ah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Que miedo. <laughs> <laughs> a bit, un poquito ahí. <laughs> sí. Mm -hmm. Good. So how was the weekend? Good. Thanks. Good. Did you go anywhere or just stayed home? Stay home. Just Working stay home. in my home too. Oh yeah, I can imagine. A lot of work. Sorry, I'm just checking the cell phone because one of your classmates is grinding to me, so. <laughs> what did you say? Oh, that I was just checking the cell phone because one of your classmates was um, was texting me. Que hay un, un compañero me estaba escribiendo que que no puede venir a la clase, entonces estoy ahí un poquito pendiente del teléfono y me disculpa. Ah, ok, no problem. Right. Hi, Janet. Good evening. Hi. How are you? Great, teacher. And you? Nice. I'm doing well. Thank you. Excellent. Yes. It's amazing. Yes, how was your day? Tired, but good. All good. Okay. And your day? Same, it was busy, but it's all right. Excellent. <laughs> Thanks for asking. Don't. Hi, Selena. Good evening. Welcome. Hi, teacher. How are you doing? I am great. Great. Nice. That's good. Did you work today? No. No work. I don't know work. No. Oh, okay. All right. Good I get evening, it. Teacher. Just at home. Selena. Hi, good evening, Carlos. Yeah. Hi. Okay. How are you? I'm fine. And you? Um, I'm a little uh, tired. I'm a little tired. Um, very hot. Oh yeah, I know it's a hot night today. It's yeah, kind of hot. Yes, teacher. See, yes, yes, teacher. But I'm glad to hear that you're fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's good. Did you work all day? Sorry. Did you work all day? Um, no, teacher, I, uh, not, not platform or today. Oh, okay. All right, that's fine. Okay, teacher. So how was the weekend? 
What? How was the weekend? ¿Cómo estuvo el fin de semana? How was the oh, weekend? Oh, good, 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 very good. good? Um, 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 family, um, um, ¿cómo se dice en, en inglés? Eh, una parrillada. Um, oh, I can't remember the word. Se me ha escapado la palabra. Let me see, let me see. Parrillada, oh my gosh, I forgot. Let me check it. Se me ha escapado la palabra, sorry. Okay, it's no problem. Eh, pero estuvimos ahí en reunión familia y una parrillada. Like a barbecue. Barbecue, yeah. Yeah, yeah barbecue. It's a barbecue. And, um, and our family. Okay, that's nice. Okay. Do you have a big family? What? Do you have a big family? I guess, in big family. Okay, yeah. Yes. My family is big too. <laughs> Very ah, big. Okay. Yeah. Oh, good. yeah. Nice. It is nice, nice. right? Uh -huh. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's cool. Like, the more the merrier, right? Entre más, yes. mucho mejor. <laughs> yes, 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 teacher. Yeah, that's cool. Right, good evening, Tamara. Hi. How are you? Uh, fine. Fine, fine. <laughs> Great. How was your day? Um, good. Today I'm playing video during my break. Oh, okay. That's yes. nice. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty cool. Right. Good evening, Gloria. Good evening, teacher. How are you doing? Uh, fine, and you? I'm great, thank you. Glad to hear you. How was the weekend? Um, working and visiting the Bicentenario. Oh, you went to the park, park. too? Yes. That's nice. You went for a walk? Yes, with my husband and my son. Oh, sounds nice. Pretty cool. Good evening, Gerardo. How are you, Gerardo? Fine, teacher. And nice. you? I'm doing well, thank you. How was the weekend? So-so. Mm, So-so? Why? What happened? Yes. <laughs> Did you have to work? It's Monday. Oh, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Monday mood. <laughs> yeah, I know it happens. <laughs> so we're only a, a few today, only eight so far. Solo ocho nos hemos conectado hasta este momento. So, very few people. Let's wait for a couple of minutes to see if anybody else uh, uh, comes back, comes to the class. So, meanwhile, how about you tell me, have you worked in the platform? ¿Han estado trabajando en la plataforma? Yes, Selena? Yes, yes. Yes. What section are you in? ¿En qué sección va? I finished. Oh, you finished I everything? Yeah. Nice. Congratulations. Did you get your diploma? Oh, uh, 
cuando lo terminé me aparecía todavía. Ahorita no ah, me he fijado. Okay. Ah, muy bien. Seguramente ya está disponible entonces. Uh -huh. Congratulations, that's nice. Sí. Carlos, have you worked in the platform? Mm, no, teacher. Haven't um, had the time. Yeah. Okay. Um, section two, section two. No, no, eh, no he empezado. Okay, you have not started section two yet. I started, yeah, this is, yeah. Okay, no, but no. don't worry, we have time this week. Okay. So just take advantage of any free time you have. Aproveche cualquier momentito que tenga por ahí para seguir adelante, okay? Okay, teacher. Gerardo, have you worked in the platform? Yes, I practice um, section two, um, apartado 2.7. Okay, you're almost done with section two. That's nice. Great. Janet, have you worked in the platform? Janet? Um, yes, a little. It's, se le escucha, pero bien bajito. Janet. Ya abrió. Okay, now it's fine. You have not worked. Uh, no, the audio is oh. not working. Uh -huh. Okay, but now we can hear you. Uh, okay, I work in the platform. In the platform, a little bit. I okay. today I work more in the night. All right. Voy a avanzar más ahora en la noche. Uh -huh. Okay. Esto... Sounds good. Pero un poquito. Muy bien. Okay, that's great, Janet. And how about Patricia? Patricia, have you worked in the platform? Uh, I am a student 2.2. 2. 2. 2. 2. 2. 2. OK. All right, that's nice. Just try to continue working, keep going, OK? And let's see, Esmeralda. Good evening. How are you? Good evening. I am fine. And you? Great. I'm doing well. Thank you. And have you worked in the platform? Yes, I am in section 3.1. All right. That's nice. Excellent. Thanks. Gabriela Mejia, have you worked in the platform? No. Good night. Good evening. Hi. Have you been working in the platform? ¿Ha tenido chancecito de, de trabajar en la plataforma? Yes. In section four. Oh. Four point four. Okay. Four point four. That's yeah. nice. Excellent. You're almost done. Ya casi Thank termina. You. Yes. <laughs> That's great. Tamara, have you worked in the platform? Um, en su día, no. Pero la última vez que me metí, hice, ya había terminado la clase anterior. O sea, la que tuvimos la última vez, ya la okay. había hecho ahí. All right. No sé, so, y no, no diferencia en cuál, en cuál sección estoy. Oh, ok. So don't worry, by now in class we are covering section number two. Ahora esta semana vamos a estar cubriendo la sección dos y la tres. Y al final de la semana deberíamos estar todos en el midterm test. Para que no vayamos dejando mucho trabajo para las últimas semanas, ¿ok? Así que tratemos todos de hacer el tiempito para seguir avanzando. Tratemos de llegar al menos a la sección tres. Teacher. Yes. Disculpe, una pregunta. Eh, ¿El examen tiene que ser el día jueves 
o tiene que ser en, en cualquier día de esta semana? En cualquier día de la semana, en el momento en que usted tenga tiempo, pero sí esperamos que esta semana, a más uh -huh. tardar, digamos, viernes, usted haya cubierto ya, ya. hasta ese examen. Ok. Uh -huh. ¿Ah? Así sería. Gracias. Ok. Any other questions? No sé si tenemos alguna otra pregunta de alguno de los ejercicios en plataforma, de algún tema en específico. Any questions? No. Okay. No All right. So we're going to start. So last class we were practicing this conversation, right? I feel homesick. And so we are just going to read it a couple of times. I will need some volunteers to read the conversation so we can practice again. Do I have any volunteers? Okay, Esmeralda and? Hi, hi teacher. Okay, Carlos, very good. So Esmeralda, you can start. Excuse me, okay. Hey, Kenishi, how are you? Oh, I am not so good, actually, actually. Why? What's the matter? Well, I have, I have a dash and I'm back, back, say. Maybe. You have the flu? No, I think just, I just feel a little homesick for Japan. That's too bad, but maybe I can help. Let's have lunch at the new Japan Japanese restaurant. Hey, that, thanks. That, that's a great idea. Thanks, Brian. I feel better already. Okay, very good. Thank you, Carlos and Esmeralda. Let's okay. see. Um, everybody repeat, please. Actually. 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 Okay, then we have headache. 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 Okay, and also backache. 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 Okay. All right, do I have another volunteer, another pair of volunteers to practice the conversation? Me, teacher. Let's see. I'm sorry, who's that? Gloria. Okay, Gloria and who's helping Gloria? Let's see. Anybody? Yeah. Tamara. Yes. Okay, great. So Tamara, you can start. Okay. Hey Kenichi, how are you? Oh, I'm not so good actually. Why? What's the matter? Well, I have a healthy and bad chi. Maybe you had food? No, I think I just feel a little domestic for Japan. That's too bad, but maybe I can help. Let's have lunch at the new Japanese restaurant. That's a great idea. Thank you, Brian. I feel better already. Very good. Thank you, Tamara and Gloria. That was nice. Okay, so once again, everybody repeat, please. Actually. 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 Matter. 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 Headache. 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 Okay, so this one sounds like if we were saying ache, okay? Like headache, ache. headache. Uh, headache. Mm -hmm. okay. headache. Okay, the same, the same the goes. Meaning headache. headache, it's when you have pain in your head. Um, Dolor de cabeza. Okay. Mm -hmm. And also we have backache. Repeat, please. Backache. Backache. 
Backache. Okay, little. Backache. Little. little. Homesick. 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 Japan. Homesick. Japan. Maybe. 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 Japanese. Japanese. Idea. Idea. And already. 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 Okay, do you have any questions about any of the words that you see in the conversation? No sé si tenemos preguntas de alguna de las palabras en la conversación. Maybe not. Bad cake, what is the meaning? Oh, bad cake, it's ache in your back, dolor de espalda. Oh, okay. Okay. La palabra ache, y ya lo vamos a ver en un momentito, significa dolor. Entonces, dependiendo de cómo vaya cambiando el inicio, que sería la parte del cuerpo que nos duele, así va a ser dolor de, like headache, dolor de cabeza, back ache, dolor de espalda, ¿ok? Also, we have okay. earache, for instance, dolor de oídos, earache, and so on. We change it like that. Any other question? Okay. Más preguntas? No more. Okay. So let me just tell you about this word, things. He visto, quiero hacer la aclaración porque he visto que varios utilizamos Esta palabra thanks y thank you, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, lo que quería aclararles es que no podemos mezclarlas como decir thanks you. Eso sería incorrecto. Debemos decir ya sea thanks okay. or thank you. It could be ah, any okay. of those. Thank thanks or thank you. Ajá, es una de las dos formas, pero no se puede mezclar como thanks you, ¿ok? Se dice thanks o se dice thank you. Okay, so now let's move on. Let's see. Let me just get my second presentation. Let's see. All right. So remember that we had a little homework for today, right? Teníamos una pequeña tarea. No sé si pudieron hacerla. Yes. Okay. Yes. yes. All right. Yes. So yes. you had to make a plan to celebrate a, a coming holiday or a special occasion, right? So oh, what see. holidays or special occasions did you choose? Let's see, Esmeralda, what's yes. your holiday or special occasion? A special occasion. What is it? It's anniversary to my sister and brother-in-law. Okay. Do you nice. say it's a cuñado, verdad? Yes, brother-in-law. Yes. Mm -hmm. Brother-in-law. Right. Great. Selena, what's yours? Uh, my birthday. Your birthday. When is your birthday? Uh, it's in the next week. Next, next Sunday. Week. Oh, that's nice. Okay, cool. Gloria, what's yours? If no, our April 8th, May 7th, and October 6th is my kids' birthday. Oh, okay, your kids' birthdays. Nice. Yes. Those are really special, I imagine. Yes, it's special. <laughs> Janet, what's yours? The birthday, the birthday friends. My it's, no, but, let me. Uh, the birthday. That's my best friend. Okay, your best friend's birthday. Uh, exactly. <laughs> okay, sounds good. All right, so this is what we are going to do. I am going to send you to the breakout rooms in okay. pairs or groups of three. And you're going to have some time to talk about your plans, okay? 
So you start by mentioning the holiday or special occasion you chose. And then you tell them about the plans. I am going to do this. I am going to do that. I'm going to celebrate it on, and you say the date and so on, okay? So let me send you to the breakout rooms. You are going to have um, three minutes, more or less. So, and I'm going to be visiting you, okay? Just accept the invitation, please. aceleración o special occasion. Así es. Yeah. Okay. ¿Quién empieza? Lady first. Como usted es el único hombre, empieza usted, Carlos. Ok, pues. <laughs> Bye, por el favor. Um, I, am going, I, am going, uh, I am going to have a picnic and celebration. Cele, 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 celebration. Ah, um, no, no, no celebration. Anniversary wedding. Um, our family in, in the beach um, and, and for weekend. Va a ser un picnic, okay. dice, y va a celebrar el aniversario de boda o como. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes. Oh. yes. Su aniversario. Yes. Ah, okay. I will. Ahora, Esmeralda, o yo. Usted, Selena. Ok, entonces. My daughter, perdón. My daughters, my daughter and I plan to make her a dance dinner and invite close relatives. relatives. We have, the, we have so about making games, it will be very fun. Um, mis hijas y yo tenemos, un, tenemos planeado hacerle una cena bailable y hemos invitado a los parientes cercanos. Um, haremos juegos, estará muy divertido. ¿Alguien más? Uh, my special occasion are birthday of my kids, but I can salute. Hi, Tamara. Sorry, hi, Tamara. Hi, no lo escucho. Hi, what happened? <laughs> you didn't get a pair. <laughs> Se quedó sin pareja. Sí. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty weird. Qué raro porque había organizado. A lo mejor alguien se desconectó ahí por problemas o algo. Estaba y después ya no. Oh, okay. So, anyways, tell me about your plans. Okay, uh, it's my my cousin birthday. When well, is my cousin birthday? It's a Monday, and my sister and my we're going to cook a cake. The cake is of chocolate. <laughs> Also, okay. we're going to dance um, and prepare of, of, I don't know, who do you say the, the situation? Uh, this, no, no situation is, uh, uh, mm -hmm. como arreglar el cuarto, el, el lugar para, oh. para decorar. We are going to decorate the place or the house. Yes, uh, we're going to decorate. I don't, I don't know uh, what is the place that he wants uh, the uh, the party, right. but we're going to decorate this place. Tiene que ser diferente cuando hablamos de de quince de quince años. Se tiene que decir diferente como si existe un nombre exacto para los quince años o. Um, sí, podemos llamarlo Sweet 15. Sweet 15. 15, uh -huh. 
Es que, bueno, en inglés no existe la quinceañera, sino que celebran los 16, por lo menos en Estados Unidos. Y lo llaman usualmente Sweet 16. Para nosotros son 15. Uh -huh. Ok. Ok, let me go check the other rooms and we are going to get back soon. Okay. All right, see you later. See you. Hi guys, did you finish? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, so tell me Gerardo, what are you going to celebrate? Eh, fiestas Agostinas en El Salvador. Okay. Or August vacation. All right. I'm going. I'm going to celebrate August August holidays. I'm going to invite my family and friends. We're going to enjoy the food, for example, tacos, pupusas, pizza, and soft drinks and mechanical games. Wow, that's nice. Sounds such as a good plan, right? That's great. Gabriela, what are you going to celebrate? Mom's Day. Mom's Day? Okay. North Day. Oh, the North Day. That's great. So what are you going to do? Yes. I'm going to celebrate North Day, May 15. I'm going to invite my classmates and my mother. My the party will be a Lazarus restaurant. Okay, that's pretty cool. Great. Okay, so we are going to get back in 30 seconds, okay? All right, so we are back. So did you have a chance to share your plans? Yes? Did everybody share his or her plan? Yes. Yes. Yeah. All right, yeah. nice. Do I have any volunteers to share with the class? Let's see. Anybody? Okay, Esmeralda, tell us. Okay. A special occasion is anniversary of my sister and brother-in-law. The anniversary is on December 7th. I'm going to invite, invite my mom, dad, sister, uh, friends, and more family. We are going to go to El Pital Mountain. My dad is going to drive to Pica. Uh, in the path, we will have a breakfast. We are going to visit the hotel in Pital Highland. We are going to do hike, company, canopy, and enjoy a coffee in the afternoon. Great. It sounds like a good plan. Excellent, Esmeralda. Thanks, teacher. Okay, I think Gabriela, were you raising your hand? <laughs> I think I saw her hand. <laughs> So let's yes. see. All right, tell us about your plans, please. Okay. North Day, I'm going to celebrate North Day, May 15. I'm going to invite my classmates and my mother. My party will be a Lanzarote restaurant. Okay, Gabriela, sorry. Did you finish or? Is it that we cannot hear you? No sé si ya no lo escuchamos. Oh, you finished. Okay. It's raining. Yeah, I know. The weather doesn't help. But thank you for sharing, Gabriela. It's a nice plan. Excellent. Okay, so let's see. Um, some things that I heard.
So in the case of anniversaries, first you say what the anniversary is about and then you add the word anniversary. In el caso de los aniversarios, usamos, por ejemplo, wedding anniversary. My wedding oh, okay. anniversary. Or my sister and brother-in-law's anniversary. Se dice primero de, de quién es el aniversario o cuál yeah. es la ocasión del aniversario. Y al final agregamos la palabra anniversary. Anniversary. Ah, ok. Very good. Mm -hmm. All right. And mm. also remember that for using the dates, you must use in or on. Cuando dice fechas, mm -hmm. también recordemos utilizar las preposiciones in o on. In mm -hmm. cuando solo menciono el mes o mes puede ser el... On, con fecha. Exactamente. Yeah. On cuando digo la fecha completa. Recordemos esas partecitas son importantes. Mm -hmm. Any questions? No question, teacher. No questions. Okay, good. So let's continue. And very good. So um, let me congratulate everybody for doing the homework, okay? Gracias a todos por hacer su tarea. Es un chancecito ahí para practicar, so it's excellent. Very great. Okay. Yeah. All right, so now let's play a game. We are going to play name five. Vamos a jugar esto. Vamos a utilizar todos el chat. Si lo pueden abrir. Y lo que vamos a hacer es to name five. So I'm going to mention a category, for example, countries. And then you have to write as fast as you can. You have to write five months. Five, I mean, countries, I said, right? Five countries. And then I can also mention, for example, numbers or what colors in any other category. Voy a ir mencionando una categoría y vamos a tener un minutito para escribir cinco cosas que pertenezcan a esta categoría. El que lo haga primero, si está correcta la intervención, va a tener un punto, ¿ok? So that's how it goes. Okay. Let's try okay. it. Name five animals. So you write five animals in the chat. You write five animals, name five animals. Just write all five. De una vez escribe los cinco y los envía cuando tenga los ya completos, cinco. Let's see. All right, Esmeralda says lion, cat, dog, bird, and fish. Great, Esmeralda, you got the first point. Okay, another category. Nice, very good, Janet, very good, Gerardo. Okay, next one is parts of the body. Name five parts of the body. Okay, Gabriela. Oh, Janet is first. So Janet, you got head, nose, hair, hand, and eye. Very good, Janet. You get a point. And Gabriela, yours is good too. Esmeralda too. Nice. Okay, so we're ready for another category. This one is colors. Name five colors. Okay, Janet, blue, black, white, yellow, and red. Very good. Selena and Tamara, you got them too. Great. All right, nice. Very good. All right, that's good. Everybody got the colors. Now we have months of the year. Name five months of the year. Okay, let's see who was the first one to write the five months. That was Janet, May, March, April, December, and November. Very good, Janet. 
Okay, pretty cool. So Janet, I think you have two points and the others have only one. So let's see, we have the last category now. It's name five holidays and special occasions. Five holidays and special occasions. Okay, Gerardo. Gerardo says Mother's Day, Father's Day, wedding anniversary, and Valentine's Day. So that is okay. Very good. Then Gabriela, you got Christmas, Mom's Day, Father's Day, Independence Day, and Nurses Day. Very good. Esmeralda, you're next. You got birthday, Christmas, Halloween, wedding, anniversary, and Valentine's. <clears throat> Very great, everybody. Okay, nice. I see Tamara's participation now. Pretty good. Okay, so we are going to stop over here. Excellent. Thanks for participating. Okay, so now let's continue with a little bit. Okay, we're going to continue by talking a little bit about half plus noun. Ahora vamos a hablar un poquito de half plus noun. Ya la semana pasada nos quedamos en las partes del cuerpo, right? So what parts of the body do you remember? Let's see, parts of the body. Knee. Head, knee. Head, knee. A shoulder. Shoulders. Mm -hmm. Foot. Feet. No. Foot. Feet. Finger. Nose. Ear. Fingers. Ears. Okay. Arms. Teeth. Arms. Top. Eyes. Teeth. Uh -huh. Nose. Oh. Leg. Okay. Two teeth. Foot. Two teeth. Mm -hmm. All right. Very mm. good. So now we are going to talk a little bit about. Uh, talking or mentioning um, the aches and the symptoms and illnesses that we have sometimes. Ahora vamos a hablar un poquito de cómo hablar de enfermedades o de síntomas cuando los tenemos. Primeramente utilizamos el verbo have. Have plus noun. Por ejemplo, ah, oh. y luego utilizamos las preguntas what's the matter and what's wrong para um, saber si alguien está bien o no, right? What's the matter? ¿Cuál es el problema? ¿O qué pasa, right? What's wrong? Same thing. So please, everybody, repeat. What's the matter? What's the what matter? The matter. What's the matter? What's the matter? What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? Okay, and then the answer can be I have. Ah, and then you add the symptom or illness that you are suffering. Acá la respuesta, utilizamos el verbo have. I have, mm -hmm. you have, he has, she has, she has, it has, we have, and they have, right? Recuerde que para right. el verbo have tenemos solamente dos formas, que son have y has. Okay. El has yes. para la tercera persona, he, she, it. En caso de que esté hablando, por ejemplo, de su hija, que a su hija le duele la cabeza, my daughter has a headache, or she has a headache. ¿Ok? Y en los otros casos, utilizamos have, como en los ejemplos, I have a headache, I have a backache, or I have the flu. Y como les mencioné anteriormente, esta palabra ache, Significa dolor. Ache. Uh -huh. Esa la podemos Ache. utilizar como una terminación eh, al unirla con distintas palabras. Las más comunes serían headache, backache. También podemos agregar earache, que es dolor de oídos. Earache. Yeah. Also toothache, dolor de 
de dientes o de muelas en todo caso. De garganta. De, 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 de garganta utilizamos usualmente la palabra sore, que también significa so. dolor. Mm -hmm. Sore. Mm, en so. esta decimos normalmente a sore throat. Oh, here I have it in the, in the example. Sore throat. Ah, uh, yes, yes. So. Sí, esa sería la forma de decir dolor de garganta. Um, mm -hmm. A ver, sí, la mayoría de los que van con ache, los más comunes serían, eh, diría yo que cinco, headache, backache, earache, toothache, and stomachache. Uh -huh. So please, everybody repeat, headache. Headache. Backache. 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 Earache. Backache. Earache. 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 Toothache. Y luego tenemos la palabra sore como sore throat. Sore throat. Repeat. Sore throat. Esta palabra es como throat. Throat. So sore throat. Control. 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 Ok, también esa puede ser eh, como dolor y también se utiliza como ardor. So it could, be, it could be also like sore eyes, sore eyes, como dolor o ardor en los ojos, sore eyes, sore throat. Uh, uh, hmm? And we also have... We also have a third word that we use, and it's pain. Una tercera palabra para referirnos al dolor sería pain. Pain. Esta pain. la podemos utilizar con cualquier parte del cuerpo. Y se utiliza más o menos así. I have a pain in my... Y ahí podemos agregar la parte del cuerpo que nos duele. I have a pain in my head. I have a pain in my arm, for instance. Or I have a pain in my ankle. Ahí vamos agregando la parte del cuerpo que nos duele. I have a pain in my back. I have a pain in my neck, for instance. No sé si tenemos alguna pregunta hasta acá. No. No questions? Okay, so how about we add more symptoms and illness? Dígame. Give me a, give me a, a question. Uh -huh. um, uh, head, head es para, para uh, qué personas? Head. El have es para I, I, you. I, I, you. We. I, you. We. And they. Ok. Uh -huh. Y el has lo utilizamos para he, she, and it. Ok. Thank you. Thanks, teacher. Ok, you're welcome. All right. Entonces ya hablamos de los dolores. Tenemos las tres palabras. Ache, que se agrega a la palabra de la, de la parte del cuerpo que nos duele. También pain, que se usa como I have a pain in my... And then you add a part of the body. And also we have sore. Now let's talk about some other illnesses or symptoms. A ver, otras enfermedades o síntomas. For example, here you have the flu. Any others that you know? Allergies. No sé cómo se dice. Allergies. Yes, that's it. Allergies. Allergies. Mm -hmm. Any other? How fever? about fever, exactly? Mm -hmm. What's the meaning of mareos? What, mareos, what do dizziness. You say? What, what do you say? Oh, mareos. how do I say ah. dizziness? What? dizziness? Let me just double check if it goes with Y or with I. Déjenme chequear si va con, con Y o con Y, porque no me recuerdo. Yeah, it goes with I. So, dizziness. Mm -hmm. 
Any other? Cold. What is it? Cold. Oh, no the cup. Irland. Yes, I got it. Cup. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Diarrhea. Diarrhea, right? Mm -hmm. Now, the teacher no idea ahí. Um, or no? Yes. So that one is the same as in Spanish, nauseous, but I'm not sure on how to pronounce oh, that no. one. It's not soup. Mm -hmm. Any other? Why do you say gripe in English? That is the flu, or you can also call it a cold. Okay. Mm -hmm. Insomnia, como insomnia, 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 um, sorry, what was that again? Or any other common illnesses or symptoms? We, we also have. Sorry, perdón, no le entendí. No sé si me puede repetir, please. Sorry, I couldn't get that. Can you write it in the chat? Please. Okay, I also added chicken pox. That is varicela. La varicela se llama chicken pox. Chicken mm -hmm. pox. Yes, let me also add. Hiccups, hiccups as hippo. Hiccups. Hiccups. Mm -hmm. Hiccups. Okay. Parestesia. Gabriela. Gabriela, what's that? I never heard of it. Hormigueo. Sensación de hormigueo. Oh, really? Yeah, I never heard that name. <laughs> Nunca había escuchado, sorry. <laughs> sí, okay. son ya yeah. vocabulario de... de <laughs> Medical, <salud>. right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. okay. <laughs> but it's interesting. Thank you for sharing. It's nice to learn something new. Es bueno aprender cosas nuevas, so thank you. <laughs> okay, so we have some of the illnesses, some of the symptoms that we may feel. And remember that we say have, we use have in order to, to say them, to tell them, right? Like I have a headache, I have a backache, I have a toothache, I have a sore throat, I have the fever, I have an allergy, I have dizziness, I have a cough, oh, I have the cough, oh, mm -hmm. I have the chicken pox and so on, right? So we use have and Remember, it changes to has for he, she, and it. She has a backache, she has the flu, she has a cold, she has the chicken pox, or he, he has the hiccups, he has an allergy, he has the fever, and so on. Any questions? So far, so good? I have a question. Tell me. Um, no. Eh, bueno, estoy en lo de abajo, other symptoms and ill, Ill, illness. Illnesses. Illnesses. Uh, illness mm -hmm. es, en, ill es como enfermo. Exactly. Y hay otra forma de decir disease, algo así como enfermedades. Mm -hmm. Pero quiero saber si illness es como enfermedades también, solo que en otra forma de decirlo. Exactly, it's the same. We have illnesses, also ailments, también sería otra palabra para enfermedades, ailments, illnesses, y la que usted menciona, diseases. Excepto que se hace una pequeña diferencia entre illnesses y ailments y diseases, en que las diseases serían las enfermedades como eh, más eh, severas, como las enfermedades como cancer and some others that may cause the death, las que son eh, como más severas, de que duran más tiempo y que usualmente se dice que no tienen cura, son diseases. 
uh, yeah, the coronavirus could be a disease. Mm -hmm. Sí. Uh, Ajá, más o menos así las manejan. Las y illness más comunes. es como más comunes. Exactamente, enfermedades uh, comunes. Thank you. Sí, así como lo dice Gabriela, enfermedades crónicas, diseases. Uh -huh. Let me write the, the word here in the chat. Disease. Okay, so let's continue. All right, also we have this feel plus adjective. So we may also ask the, the questions, how are you or how do you feel? También podemos preguntar, how are you? Que es la pregunta más común que hacemos cuando vemos a alguien. ¿Cómo estás? Right? How are you? And then, how do you feel? ¿Cómo te sientes? How do you feel? And to answer, we use the verb feel. Again, I feel homesick. I feel better. I don't feel well. En este caso, con feel, vamos a utilizar adjetivos. Ya no utilizamos nombres como las enfermedades o los síntomas, sino que utilizamos adjetivos que describan la forma en que nos sentimos en ese momento. Por ejemplo, acá, I feel homesick. Me siento, eh, podríamos decirlo, nostálgico. Or I feel better. Me siento mejor. I don't feel well. No me siento bien. And let's see, we also had some more adjectives. To use with feel, we have, I feel sick, I feel sick, or I feel awful, I feel awful. Me siento enfermo o me siento muy mal, right? Awful, it's like so bad. Okay. And also for the third person, feel, you add S, okay? Feels. She feels bad. She feels homesick. He feels better. He feels sick. Ok, en este caso el verbo no cambia como have y has, sino que solamente le agregamos S a la tercera persona, feels. He, she, it, feels. Ok, here I have some other adjectives to use with feel. Those are terrible. I feel terrible. Next one, Gerardo, can you read it please? Make a sentence. I feel terrible. Okay, I feel terrible. Thank you. Esmeralda, next one. I feel miserable. Right, very good, thank you. Next one, Carlos. I feel um, beer. I feel? I feel, um, well. Weird. Weird como raro? Oh, let me just get that text. Oh. What do you mean? Sorry, uh, Carlos. Uh, sorry. Mm -hmm. I, I, excuse me. I feel, um, no, 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 oh. okay. no. Okay, so uh, I feel, eh, como, no sé, con calor, no sé, o caluroso, no sé. Hot. Hot. I feel hot. Mm -hmm. Sí. Okay. Yeah. También podemos agregar este verbo, este, perdón, adjetivo, weird, me siento raro, right? Como no me siento bien, me siento raro. I feel weird. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, also here I have some others. Let me just clear that. We have, I feel great. 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 I feel terrific. Great. Con esta palabra terrific, hay que tener cuidado porque sonaría como que si es algo malo, ¿verdad? Um, similar to terrible or something, but it's not. It's something good. When you say that you feel terrific, it's because you are very well. You feel very fine, right? Es eh, sentirse muy, muy bien, terrific. 
something very good. Entonces, no hay que confundir con esas dos palabras, terrific and terrible. Terrible sería algo negativo. Terrific, something good. Algo positivo, ¿ok? All right, any others? No sé si tenemos más ejemplos. No more for now. Okay, so we are going to stop with the class over here because it's time. And that will be it. Do you have any questions? No sé si tenemos alguna consulta. No questions? Okay, no so that's all for today's class. Thank you very much for your attention. See you tomorrow. Have a nice, uh, good night. Okay, good bye, night. Bye, bye. good night. Okay, good night. Tight. Thanks. Good night. Goodbye. Take care. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night.